Welcome to the Marketing Coach Podcast. I'm your host, Angie Ginsler, and I teach you how to get more traffic, leads, and sales without the hustle or headache. Let's get started. Hey guys, today we're talking about lead magnets and how to create a lead magnet that converts like magic. Now, before we dive into the nitty gritty of crafting high converting lead magnets, if you're not familiar with lead magnets, I suggest you go back and listen to the previous episode first. It's episode 26, where I share three email marketing secrets that every business owner should know. That episode will provide you with a good understanding of what a lead magnet is, how it works, and why you need one. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get started. Now there are four different elements to a high converting lead magnet that I wanna walk you through today. When it comes to lead magnets, it's not just about having something to offer your audience. It's about offering something that resonates deeply with them and something that solves a problem they're facing. So that's why the first element in creating a lead magnet that converts is ensuring it's relevant to your audience. So picture this, your potential leads are out there and they're searching for solutions to their challenges. And then all of a sudden, they stumble upon your website with your lead magnet. If it doesn't address that problem that they're currently trying to find a solution to, chances are they're gonna pass it by without a second glance. So how do you ensure that your lead magnet hits the mark? Well, you want to make sure that it solves the problem that they are trying to find a solution to. So it could be a pain point your audience commonly experiences, or maybe it's a need that they're actively seeking to fulfill. Your lead magnet needs to be the solution that they've been looking for. Now, in order to do this, I want you to take a moment to reflect on your target audience and your ideal customer. Who are they? What challenges do they face within their day-to-day life? What are common problems that they have that fit within the realm of your expertise? Understanding all of these little details about your target customer is really the key to crafting a lead magnet that will truly resonate with them. So for instance, if you're a fitness coach targeting busy professionals, your lead magnet could be a seven day meal plan specifically tailored to fit their hectic schedules. By addressing their need for convenient yet nutritious meals, you're not only offering a solution, but you're also positioning yourself as someone who understands their struggles. Relevance is really the cornerstone of a successful lead magnet. It's what captures your audience attention and it compels them to take that action to jump on your email list. So before you hit the drawing board to try to figure out what your lead magnet's gonna be, take that time to really understand your ideal customer and the problems that they're looking to solve. The second element of a high converting lead magnet is to ensure it's easy to consume and provides a quick win. I don't know anyone who isn't juggling multiple tasks and responsibilities. It seems like everybody is overstressed and overworked and overtired. (laughs) So no one in your ideal audience has the luxury of spending hours on end trying to decipher complex information. So if your lead magnet is overly complicated or too detailed, it's not going to capture their attention. That's why simplicity is so important. Your lead magnet needs to be straightforward and easily digestible. It needs to offer a solution that can be implemented with very minimal effort. So whether that's with a step-by-step guide, a cheat sheet, a short webinar, the goal with your lead magnet is to provide value in a way that's accessible and convenient for your audience. So in addition to being easy to consume, your lead magnet should also provide a quick win. So think of it as delivering an immediate solution or insight that addresses a pressing pain point for your audience. This demonstrates the value of your offering, but it also encourages further engagement with your company. So let's say that you are a marketing consultant targeting small business owners who struggle with social media. Instead of offering a lengthy ebook on the intricacies of social media algorithms, You could instead create a one-page checklist outlining 10 proven tactics to increase engagement on Instagram. This not only simplifies the information, but it also provides a quick win by offering them actionable strategies that can yield immediate results for their business. 
By making your lead magnet easy to consume and providing a quick win, you're making it more enticing for them to want to grab it. The third element of high converting lead magnets is a high perceived value. Now perception is everything when it comes to your lead magnet. Even if your offer provides immense value, if it doesn't appear valuable to your audience, they're going to overlook it. That's why it's really crucial to not only deliver substance, but also to convey the value that it provides effectively. So how do you ensure that your lead magnet is perceived as valuable? One way is to package it in a way that emphasizes its benefits and advantages. So this could include using compelling visuals, persuasive copywriting, or my favorite way to do that is testimonials from satisfied users to highlight its impact. Another strategy is to offer something exclusive or unique that can't easily be found anywhere else. So this could be insider tips, maybe industry secrets, or access to premium content that's reserved only for your email subscribers. By providing something of value that's not readily available to everyone, you're making your lead magnet more desirable to your audience. Now consider this example. Imagine you're a career coach offering a free webinar on interview preparation. To enhance its perceived value, you could promote it as featuring insider insights from hiring managers, or you could include a downloadable workbook with actionable exercises. So this not only elevates the perceived value of your offer, but it also positions you as an authority in your field. Ultimately, with your lead magnet, the goal is to make your audience feel like they're getting something truly valuable in exchange for that email address. By doing so, you're not only going to increase the likelihood of conversion, but you're also fostering a sense of trust and credibility with your audience. Now, the fourth and final element to creating a high converting lead magnet is to create an enticing headline. Your headline is the first impression that your lead magnet makes on your audience. So please do not overlook this one or breeze through it too quickly. It is so important. Your headline is the gateway that determines whether they're going to click through to learn more or just simply scroll right on past. So that's why crafting a headline that grabs attention and piques their curiosity is really essential for driving conversions. So what makes a headline enticing? First and foremost, it needs to be clear and concise. It should convey the main benefit or the promise of your lead magnet in a compelling way. So think of this as your elevator pitch, a really short summary that's going to entice your audience to learn more. But let me be clear, clarity doesn't mean boring. So your headline should also be engaging and attention grabbing using persuasive language and power words in order to evoke emotion and spark curiosity. So whether it's posing a thought-provoking question, making a bold statement, or teasing a surprising insight, the goal is to capture your audience interest from the get-go. So here's an example for you. Let's say you're a productivity coach and you're offering a cheat sheet on time management tips. Instead of a generic headline like time management strategies, You could opt for something more compelling like unlock your productivity potential, 10 time management hacks to supercharge your success. So do you see how we have those power words? So we've got unlock and hacks and supercharge. Those words really grab your attention. It's compelling and it makes you wonder, okay, what's in there? Versus the headline time management strategies, that's pretty boring and everyone's going to scroll past that. So the new headline, 10 Time Management Hacks to Supercharge Your Success, it not only communicates the benefit of the lead magnet, but it also conveys some excitement and urgency. Your headline is your opportunity to make a memorable impression and entice your audience to take action. So make sure that you take the time to craft a headline that not only communicates the value of your offer, but it also captivates your audience's attention and really makes them eager to want to learn more. So those are the four elements for a high converting lead magnet with a relevant, easy to consume lead magnet that offers high perceived value and an enticing headline you will be well on your way to creating a lead magnet that converts like magic. But I want you to keep in mind that these four elements are just the elements required to get your ideal customer 
to want your lead magnet enough that they join your email list. There are actually other elements that your lead magnet also needs to contain in order to then convert them into a paying customer. Now I will cover these additional elements and so much more in my upcoming live Build Your List Bootcamp. It's going to be a week-long training with four live trainings teaching you step-by-step -step how to get your first 1,000 email subscribers. It's going to be very affordable and super high value. So if you would like to be the first to know when registration opens for the Build Your List Bootcamp, then head to angieginzer.com slash bootcamps. Well, that wraps up today's episode. It was short, but packed full of value. So I hope you found it helpful and learned something that you can apply to your business this week. And before we part ways, remember that perseverance, not perfection, is the key to success. If you keep taking action, your success is inevitable. I'm cheering you on. If you liked this episode and learned something new, make sure you rate, review, and subscribe to the podcast. And if you haven't given the Social Media Content Club a try yet, head over to angieginsler.com slash content club to start your seven-day trial of done-for-you copy-and-paste content directly from your phone. You're going to love it. Well, that's it for today. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next episode.